Hey there! It's been a while, but I'm really glad you could make it. Get cozy, because it's time for another sci-fi super short. That's better. This one's called Ouroboros. Guy at the end of the bar, he's looking at you, Priscilla said, taking a discreet sip from her cocktail. Zadie tucked a hair behind her ear, leaning in. Like, a good-looking, or... God, sorry, uh, I meant staring. Priscilla blinked, putting her drink in the bar. He's really cute, though. You should turn around. Why? I know I'm going to turn around and it's going to be some sharky tech lackey. You know where Ouroboros? Sadie replied, dunking her glow-in-the-dark straw into her equally nuclear drink. Priscilla huffed, squaring her chin with her shoulders. Well, he's got blue hair, so unlikely. Why didn't you lead with that? Sadie's eyebrow curved with intrigue. She turned her head subtly, eyes sliding across the bar. Blue hair was, by Zadie's assessment, properly described. He was cute, in a relaxed, easygoing way that almost seemed out of place in the oppressively dark, vibrating goth club. His clothes were simple, just a buttoned up, rolled up at the elbows, and a dark set of track pants matched with trainers. He smiled when their eyes met, and it felt warm, even at a distance. Sadie felt a push from behind as she half stumbled into the dance floor towards him. He approached while she collected herself, suddenly wondering if he thought that maybe she was too tall or looked awkward in herself. Zadie, right? he asked. She narrowed her eyes. Um, he stuck out his hand. We met at the El Paso conference. You were presenting a history on paper encryption techniques. She broke into a smile. Fuck yeah, yeah, ciphers are my jam. That was when she recognized a flash of him in his eyes up close. She clasped his hand. Simon, right? Yeah, it's been a while. You look good. I look good? What about you? When did this blue moment happen? She prodded at a quaffed blue chunk of hair. Uh, just trying something new, he said bashfully. Hey, listen, it's been a while, and I'd kind of love to pick your brain on what you think about this recent life spot business. Can I buy you a drink? She rolled her eyes playfully. Yeah, well, we're going to need a drink to talk about that. Suddenly, she heard a whoosh of something sailing by in the crowd, and then a crash of tables. They both turned to watch a man's friends pick him up out of the mess of empty tables, wobbling slightly after his trip on the dragon. The huge, snake-like, animatronic dragon snorted air through its nostrils, having claimed another victim. Strips of light traveled up and down its back as the dragon jerked and then clambered back into resting position for its next rider. Some bars had bulls, or Burroughs had the dragon. Tell you what, I'll let you buy me a drink if you can last at least one ride on the dragon, Zadie said, letting a smirk curl her full lips. Simon gave her a rueful suck of his teeth and then nodded, handing her his drink. You got a deal. She watched him head towards the gate of the bullpen, cocking her head to the side. Maybe tonight was going to be an interesting one, after all. <laughs>